Whoa. Saving possible. <laughs> that, that's reassuring. <laughs> so, welcome back. Oh, well, this is my room. I can't go in there. My target is this way. So, are we seeing 9S? Yes. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Interesting. Um, no, I won't for now. Mainly because I don't have any internet currently on my thing, but interesting. Very interesting. I didn't realise the bunker was going to be like five seconds long. <laughs> but, hey, cool. That's interesting. So, they can upload their memories and just have another one made. 5012 AD. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end. When the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars, the aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon. Machine life forms that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. To break this stalemate, once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Huh. To be. Can you hear me? I'm starting a boot sequence. That was quick. First, you want to check the brightness settings. Okay. So it's a recording. Huh. This is fascinating. Hmm. You don't know how to adjust the brightness? I think it's set up to respond to some kind of input. Let's see. Ah, ha, ha. All right, then. Let's get started. We'll go for each adjustment in order. Let's start by getting the brightness set. Um, only the right icon is visible. Okay, so we'll... Yeah, that's about right. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. Sounds, sounds look good. Should probably let you know that this entire process is being recorded for posterity. That that's fine. Yeah, then go for it. Let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call you, uh, call out to you now. Uh, make sure you can hear my voice. Adjust your settings so you can hear me, all right? <laughs> adjust the settings until you can hear my voice. All right, are we good now? Yes. Oh, uh, thank you. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. <laughs> uh, hold on. 
your self destruct permission. I'm, I'm so what? Wait a sec, we need to restore those. No, no we don't. <laughs> I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Right, well, guess I'm done. What a lovely little way to introduce you to the settings. That's cool. Morning. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. Okay, thanks. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We'd better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. Okay. Well, uh, let's get a move on. I love that it's in black and white. I've got mail! Uh, I don't know how I... near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Okay. I've got mail, I don't know how I look at it. Would it be this or uh Intel maybe? There's tutorials. Still got quite a bit to go. I don't know how I look at mail. Oh, maybe quests? No, okay, well, we'll, we'll just, we'll just leave that for now. Oh, this is neat. Hello! Ah, 2B. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Okay. Uh, so are we leaving here? Uh, well, unless it's through that wall, uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, this is really fascinating that we're just here. I f at first that I thought it was going to be like a, a flashback. The hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. But no, it's uh, I like that it's just like, okay, this is you regaining like life, I guess. Uh, but there is a lot more to this than meets the eye, and I've already seen parts of it, so we'll get to it when we get to it. Let's just say that dying isn't necessarily a bad thing. But again, we'll get to that when we get to it. Hey, 2B. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. Alright, alright. Haha. <laughs> uh, if you could take the ones on the right or not, I mean, sure, I could do both. <laughs> You're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Alright, Axel. Oh, sweet, that's awesome! Oh, yes! Okay, so it takes time to charge. I mean, I expected that. But that was great. More of that, please. That was bloody fantastic. Level up. Nice. So what happens when you level up exactly? Is it uh, health and attack increases? Or... Just generic stuff? 
if you get anything beyond that. I assume it's just like your standards. Hey, you got some health and stuff, but, but hey, what do I know? I could be wrong. You deflect that, and I'm not happy about it. Oh, hello. I did damage. Okay, so I can still do stuff like that. That's cool. Nice. All right. I'll save my missiles for another for another battle. Makes sense. Good luck down there. These kind of remind me of like top-down gummy ship missions from uh, Kim Hearts, which is pretty cool. I'm all on board for that because I love the gummy ships. So. Hm. All right then. Which will start off by receiving plant seed. Okay, so. We don't have our items, do we? No, we don't. We have... Damn it! Like every... Oh wait, do we still have materials? No! <laughs> all the things we got in that tutorial level, all gone. That... I'm disappointed. <laughs> I thought I did well. Oh, we can't open that. So how do you open that? It looks like there's a mine on top of it, but I doubt that's what that actually is. But, yeah, so that's that's something we'll open another day. Don't know when that'll be, but... Oh, okay, so you can do a dash in the air as well, that's cool. Well, this place is certainly cool. City Ruins, yeah, that that is right. So I think this is actually what I've seen from PlayStation Access and other, other places. To target location. Any map shows the geography around your composition at the bottom right of the screen. That shows your objective. Yeah, figure it, figure as much. Um, yeah. So this is the area where I've like, I've played no more than this because that was the demo level, the uh, the first level, and I have seen, I guess, some of this area, but no more. Um, I haven't seen inside the building per se, but I have seen elements of this, so where can I jump down exactly? Uh, there is fine. Bet there's gonna be an item somewhere down here. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know, just looking around. Anything that can help me out. This place is really dark and gloomy. So yeah, how long has the war been on exactly? Um, did it say 200? Oh, that's quite a drop. Uh, did it say 200 years? Because, I mean, that, that's a long time. <laughs> Aha, an item. Hopefully there's uh, some kind of... Ooh, melee defense up. Okay. Um. So, is that... Enhancement? Yes, that's what we want. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. That's that's nice. I will take that. My defense up. It's pretty good. Can't can't complain there. See, this is what happens if you explore. It's a really good idea. Should have done circle. Circle was there. It was an option. One day it will be. One day circle will be there. It'll be lovely. I'll be able to show you what it does. It's basically just a really powerful attack. Just to sum it up, but. I still want to show it off, but oh well, next time, maybe. So yeah, this is like a, I guess, post-apocalyptic world that hasn't been completely and utterly destroyed technically, like, there's still, there's still, like, remains, there's still, okay, like, it is quite destroyed, but there is still grass growing, you know, it's not like the world is entire disarray, it's not just a wasteland, per se. So that's, that's a good thing, I guess. Don't really know how, wait, what? A moose? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, damn. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, I can understand why you would hit me. So I can kill a moose. I know there's a little bit more to this. You can actually ride the moose, but I don't know how you ride the moose. Yay! I killed the moose! I got moose meat. I love how if you're dying, it just does this. Uh, no, I don't, actually. Uh, don't change, it's fine. Um, so how do I get help, exactly? According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They huh. just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. This is amazing, though, the way this looks. So if you're dying, like, it doesn't change your gameplay, it just reduces your vision. In, or at least, not, re not reduces per se, but just manipulates your vision, which I like quite a bit. I also know to stay away from mooses. Um, now, I saw you could ride one, but I don't know exactly how. Which is why I got close to it. A copper ore, nice. Don't worry, it was it was my mistake. You can get health from enemies, so I may as well. Oh yeah, you can fish as well, that's a thing. That that is a thing you can do. You can indeed fish. No, you will not kill me. Nice, that's pretty good. You will not kill me, but I am dying, so that's that's not that's not too good. Don't worry, I'm sure I can be repaired in here. If I had all the health upgrades that I collected in the tutorial and stuff, oh, well, this wouldn't be happening. No, don't take me away. No, there's some health there. <laughs> or at least something. It's the resistance camp. I don't really buy... Yeah, as I was saying, I don't really buy the whole we fled to the moon so and survived kind of thing. We should probably like, go talk to their how? First thing. If they're attacking the moon, I'm pretty. If they're attacking the Earth, I'm pretty sure they find you on the moon. Let's be let's be real here. Sure, I'll use it just to stop the black and white. So wait, three hundred and three. How much have I got? One thousand two hundred. <laughs> Fair enough then. Okay, that's a lot of health. I can't argue that. Hey there. You're number two. Hmm. You know about two B. Um. Yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I buy items from people by any chance? Weapons trader. Ah, well, this music's fantastic. Ha, ah, you must be with uh, Yoha. I heard about what happened. I deal in weapons, if you're interested in that type of thing. Uh, what kind of weapons? <laughs> Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But if I can get the servicing device in that toolbox up and running, I could start fixing and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will you? Okay, can do. It's busted, alright. Huh, you know it. And as I bet you can tell, I'm no good at that sort of delicate repair. But yes, help him out. <laughs> you mean it? That'd be a huge help. Huh, looks like the servicing device shot it out. Must have put too much load on it. I'm thinking four complex gadgets would be enough to fix it. Any idea where I'd find complex gadgets? Folks say you can find them over in the city ruins, although I also hear the place is crawling with incredibly aggressive machines. Okay, so we'll do that because we can get weapons from it. That's cool. Hello. Oh, actually, before that, there's a chest here that I want. Medium recovery. Nice. Oh, welcome, welcome. It's always great to get new customers. So, are you some kind of supply trader for the resistance? <laughs> you know it. Every item here is handcrafted from abandoned, crafted from abandoned parts and stuff plundered from enemy corpses. So then, to business. What can I get you? Okay, let's see. What can I buy? Small recovery, medium recovery. That's quite reasonable, actually. Uh, melee attack up. That's good. Range. Okay, so... Animal bait. Okay. Oh, so that's how you ride them. Gotcha. 
and I pouch for a bit the center and which prevents them from running when approached. That's pretty handy as well. So, okay. So if we're going to do this, we should get a set of... Let's get enough to have, you know, a fair amount. Let's get five of those. Um, 15 seconds. I see. 15 seconds. So is the one I got before gone already? Probably, yes. Um, I thought it was a, hey, you've got this forever kind of thing, but I see no. I may as well get that, that can't hurt. Um, and then, I guess I'll get some of those as well. Then I'll save the rest for later. Um, and I can sell stuff. Oh, okay. So it can be exchanged for money. Okay, well, I may as well get that. Killed a moose for it, so... Um, wait, really? I can sell the HUD? Huh! That's kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> that's really cool. Plug-in chips. I mean, those little doodads will set as power-ups for your body. Uh, afraid not. Okay. Let's sell pl plug-in chips, but I don't have the necessary raw materials. Now, if I happen to get those raw materials, I bet we could do business. But until then... Say, now there's an idea. What if you got the materials for me? I've got this bum leg, see? Can't really get around myself. Can you just repair your leg? You work in the supply trade, after all. <sighs> if only... Unfortunately, all of our parts are de dedicated to the war effort. Can't spare any for myself. Personally, I'm hoping you wipe out those machines so I can start dancing again. And until then, we look for what I need. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. Oh, wait, that's us. Alright. Ah, oh, thanks a million. Okay, so I need one broken spring, one small gear, and one broken circuit. You can smash a few small machines to find them. You can obtain them from enemies in big open area towards the left where you exit the camp. Target location okay, data cool. obtained. Marking on map. Um, let me check something. Uh, yeah, the defense thing underneath the fence is gone. So, yes, it's a very brief thing. I thought it was going to be one of those, hey, you uh, you put it on and, and ta-da, have things happen. Strange resistance woman. Hey, you of your hat, right? <laughs> My mask? It's an electromagnetic wave shielding device. I wear it to limit unnecessary information from the world. <laughs> just kidding. So, what do you want? Are you worried about something or whatever? How do I save? What's the next point? What should I do if I die? I feel motion sick. This game is too difficult. Okay, that's it. Uh, huh, that's a good philo philosophical question. After a Yoha body is destroyed, only its memory data is transferred to the new body. That means items aren't transferred, so if you die, you need to recover plug-in chips from your previous body. If you die again before recovering your plug-in chips, they'll all be lost, so take care. Basically, you need to recover everything from your previous body immediately. Um, I feel motion sick. If you have any system-related questions, ask maintenance. Don't hand in everything from body maintenance to pod adjustments. This game is too difficult. You can change the game difficulty at any time on the system menu. In easy mode, enemies are weaker and you can use special auto chips. Equip them well too and activate automatic attacks and evades. Normal mode is the standard level of difficulty. The enemies get stronger in hard mode, and you can't use any lock-on features. In very hard mode, not only is lock-on disabled, but the enemies are... Well, kind of insane. It's almost stupid difficult, but more daring players seem to like it. And hey, just between you and me, if you go to Intel and select tutorials, you may find out some things you didn't know. Maybe worth checking out if you're ever bored out of your skull. Alright then, I'm good. Thank you very much. Fun talking to you. Uh, what's in here? What is this? It's a fridge. Map information unlocked. Oh, that's handy. Um, travel to another access point. Oh, here's the inbox. Test mail. The verification. Yeah, it worked. Um, Map <laughs> good. Data obtained from bunker. Data may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you? Alright then, well, uh... The world is uh, filled with cleverly disguised access points, which can be used for the following. Unlocking map info, unlocking a save area, um, which allows you to save your game in the system menu. Found access point under attack by enemies, destroy all of them to reactivate the terminal. Okay, cool. 
Well, let's uh, let's do that then, shall we? This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. Yeah, but it's quite beautiful in its own way. It is time for your regularly scheduled contact. This is 2B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, hey, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. This is the place that weapons trader was talking hmm. about. Uh -oh. uh... I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> well then. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not gonna be the eagle. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. That's a severe amount of damage. Oh, that's what it does. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. That was, that was sexy. Cool. Got them all? I think so, yes. Well, there's some items. Are these all the things for the, we the weapon trader? Yes, I believe so. Cool. So that was quite an easy mission. Uh, well, okay, not all of them are right here. Well, they might be, but... Just need to look around a bit. But... That's very handy. One to go. I think I saw some over here, so that's good as well. Nice. So there are quite there are quite a few items out in the open. Oh, crystal! Again, that was something we um we got in the uh in the tutorial mission. So that's good. We got one of those back. Always nice to see. Uh, aha! More copper ore. Is there anything else in here that I missed? Just trying to see if we uh. If we can find the fourth piece. Because we've nearly completed the request. No, that's a more couple. Oh, that's probably it right there. That was sneakily hidden. Ah! That should be enough. So we can go back Let's to get now. This back to the trader. Silver ore as well. I wanna see what's up here. <laughs> can I go up here? I presume so. Oh, before I do that. Thank you, item, copper ore. Um yeah, there's some stuff up here. Neat. So this is just explore the area. Life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants too. Oh, there's a lot of enemies up there. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Quite how I hoped. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such too. So yeah, that will that'd be quite hard to get up there from that way. It's probably doable, but not specifically easy, so... Oh, there's a lot of uh, flying guys. Fortunately, we can get them quite easily with our, our little robot friend. I like the little robot friend. It's quite powerful. <laughs> I think we're, uh, we'll get this mission completed, and uh, we'll end the video for now. Because I think I've done quite a bit today. I say today, as if... This is like the only thing I'm going to do today. Oh huh, no. Uh, Hypothesis. You. How dare you. Is that all of them? Oh. How did I miss you? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, is that all of them? No, there's, there's one right there. And has been for some time. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. But there you go. I have information unlocked. Nice. Then unlocking quick save as well, which is handy. May as well. Can't hurt. The game informed me I probably should, so... That's quite handy. So... I guess, uh... I guess we'll... Oh, dented plate. I'm sure that's quite handy as well. I guess we'll just head back to camp. Uh, unless there's... Something that's in our way as we're on the way back. There's a section over here that requires our assistance. So we'll do that quickly. But then again, there's also some items. It's, 
it's so addicting because it's just like, oh, look, there's stuff, but no, but no items, need items. She's so powerful. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. This music is lovely as well. So is this going to be... Oh, look, Moose. Um, so is this going to be the area where we complete the, uh, the mission for the other guy? Oh, I didn't see that. Hey there. You were white. What I mean by that is, I didn't realise it was a level 5. Cool. Well, you're down. There's, there's something here. Ah, haha, we got it. We got the broken key for the request. Nice. And there was the moose. It's quite cool as well. Guess we'll uh we'll head back to uh the camp now if we're done with all that. Because we completed all their requests. It's pretty fun. I expect that I don't know how many of these areas the game's gonna have. But I suspect there's going to be you know, a fair few. Actually, do I need to? Oh, I guess there's more in here because the uh, the red like circle didn't disappear because the red circle disappeared last time, I think. Last time I finished, at least. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's more like okay. it. That's everything the supply trader asked for. See, I'm glad I I, I realised that. I was gonna say, didn't the red circle disappear last time? Yes, it did, Teal. Yes, it did. You want to make sure you get that. It's very important. By helping them, we also help ourselves. Oh wait, what was that? I don't. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. So you can sort of hover down by holding X. Okay. It's not a flight, but it's it's just a gently fall kind of thing, which is. Probably very helpful for uh, dealing with, well, heights, but I, mean, I don't know what kind of things we're going to be dealing with in this game. So, that is quite handy. Oh, do you know what? I could totally ride a moose. How do I, how do I ride you? Can I, do I just get on you, or? I don't know what I have to do to do that. So we'll we'll figure that out next time. Yeah, right now we'll head back to the base. Seems like a plan. Let's uh, not get caught on the bridge. Yeah, I keep saying I want to go back to the base, but you know what? I keep seeing items. They've got to stop being so many items, because I'm going to need these. <laughs> the good thing is, though, I'm I mean, I don't know how many items exactly we got in the tutorial mission, but we, we've we collected quite a few. So we've probably recovered more or less what we lost in many ways. Maybe not all exactly the same amount, but a fair amount. So I think that's a pretty good job well done. Don't you think? And I think from this terminal you can sort of teleport to, yeah, transport. Travel to another access point. Yeah, Falso, that's cool. So, yeah, next time we can do that. We can travel to another access point and just make life easier. That's good. Hey, we have all the pieces. I think this should be enough to fix your broken device. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> Looks like I'm back in business. Good to hear. You know it. I make these weapons to keep my friends safe, after all. Although sometimes I wonder. What if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? Well, that's cheery. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, alright? Should have some new gear for you then. Cool. Will do. Do I get anything beyond just completing it? No, I guess not. Hey, you found the materials. That's great. Now I can start upgrading and crafting items for you. I imagine you can spare a few of these supplies to fix your leg. Yeah, no. Why don't you tell us what's really going on? See, it's my left leg that's all busted up. And my left leg is the one that's fully original. I've repaired this old body of mine a hundred times over during this war. I swap parts in and out so many times I can't even keep track. But this leg, this left leg, it's never been touched. So 
So if I go and replace that, what happens? I mean, would it be me anymore? Or would I just... Anyway, it's my own problem. Didn't mean to trouble you with it. I should be getting more inventory soon. I'll swing by when you can. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. That's a lot of 3,000 G. That's, hmm. Nice. Why didn't that one complete? Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Give me my reward. Nice. That's... Ooh, five crystal, five, five Gs, 50 experience. Nice. Want to try them out? Sure. Oh, wait, so I can buy an upgrade. Oh, okay, so we got Beast Bane. It's pretty cool. We've got the Ancient Overlord. That sounds amazing, by the way. Uh, we've got the Beast Lord. Um, and we can upgrade, so... Huh. Well, we've got what we need, so I don't see why not. It will make our weapon way more powerful than the, uh, the other one, so... And we can do the same again. We can upgrade it again if we have more things. We have the amber. We just need more tented plates, set of cables, titanium alloy. That's cool. Um, now that's a very... I'm guessing that's a very slow attacking weapon. But um, but it's powerful. Sword of the King of Beasts has its motif. Strange and comfortable aura. Great sword shaped as the King of Beasts. I'm not a very good slow weapon kind of person. So I won't buy any just yet, um, but I will look into that. So I think that's where we're going to end it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, next time, well, uh, who knows what we'll be up to. There's a lot we can do here, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Take care.